This is Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Palmer and Joe Lyons is joining us. He is the mayor of Claremont, uh, part of the beautiful San Gabriel Valley. And as you know, recently the president of the United States uh, joined us here in the San Gabriel Valley to declare the San Gabriel Mountains a national monument, a process that was considered even back in the 90s. It took several, uh, over three decades, I guess parts of three decades. What do you think about this designation? Uh, I think the city of Claremont and personally uh, we're in agreement with protecting uh, the uh, national forest to the extent mm -hmm. that we can. This opportunity became available to the congresswoman. She jumped on it and right. moved it forward as quickly as she could and I think to the benefit of the San Diego Valley. Yeah, there are different ways to protect. An area could be called a national recreation area that requires legislation. Mm -hmm. Legislation that had been pending through Congresswoman Hilda Solis, I believe Congressman David Dreyer, right. and then through Congresswoman Judy Chu, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. Uh, it got bogged down yes. in the current Congress. So given that it got bogged down, was it appropriate to take this alternative measure uh, seeking the Antiquities Act and the president's signature? Uh, given the long history of attempts to bring it forward, I think that, uh, again, had I been in the Congresswoman's mm. uh, shoes, I would have uh, jumped at the opportunity because it does put a place marker on that land for future consideration mm -hmm. for precisely the designations that have already been vetted and approved right. by the uh, major players in the San Gabriel Valley. So tell us what this does for the San Gabriel Valley. In your mind, yes. what are the benefits? The benefits are maintenance uh, um, revenues that will come in, uh, four point something million have mm -hmm. already been uh, allocated mm -hmm. uh, for projects within the San Gabriel Valley, uh, San Gabriel mm -hmm. Mountains that would not have been there. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it has immediate benefit to uh, improving uh, the uh, various trails, uh, the right. uh, access points, and uh, again, just personnel that will be dedicated to it. The opponents though, are concerned, aside from the process, that we're adding an extra layer of federal bureaucracy. How would you respond to those that are concerned about the federal government coming in? Uh, I, my answer to that is simple. Uh, there is nothing in national forest that implies that there's local ownership or control over it in any regard. Uh, this particular designation is probably the most benign of all designations that mm. can be applied uh, to again, add a level of preservation and protection that uh, under the current situation does not exist. What about personal property rights? Are those impacted private property rights? No, not at all. Uh, again, all of the things that have been discussed during the National Recreation Area mm -hmm. designation uh, are the same as uh, they would have been, uh, and so right. nothing has changed in that regard. So are there economic impacts? Is there a way to turn this into an economic driver? Because with preservation and protection, that could suggest you just kind of freeze it in place, but could it also mean that you can improve bike trails, hiking trails? whatever it may be. Yes, and again, the monies that will be designated will in fact go to some of those activities so that it's uh, at a level where uh, maintenance and preservation of the monument is of course top on the list, but access is an important point and the ability to uh, improve the amenities uh, is in that list of things that will occur. And the mountains go through several cities, yes. uh, unincorporated areas as well. Is there an effort to unify interest to try to harness the benefit of this designation? I think that it, it sits on the outer borders of the of the cities that are, are oh, in Pictet. So it doesn't include any of the areas that the National Recreation Area did. Okay. Uh, so that any, any benefit will come from the fact that it's a designation that there may be access points along the Got it. along the area that we can take advantage. His of. name is Joe Lyons. He is the mayor of Claremont. My name is Brad Pomerantz, and you are watching Time Warner Cable's local edition.